What's up guys? Welcome back to Man Cave Collectible Reviews. Coming at you this week with a little bit of a toy hunt, but also a toy haul. So gonna do it kind of backward. Normally we do like our toy hunt, then we do the toy haul last. I'm gonna flip it up this time. You guys let me know down in the comments if you like this idea or if you don't like this idea, if you'd rather hauls be at the end. Love hearing your guys' feedback. Also, we just had a really cool live stream. Uh, myself, Zach, Jack, Dan, JB's Toy Trunk uh, did a trivia night. Really fun. If you enjoy trivia, movie, comic book, action figure, check that out. It was the last video on the channel. It was our live stream. We're going to keep doing those. We've also got a live stream coming up. Me and Zach, Jack, Dan have started a new series where we rank all the new figures. Well, we're going to be ranking our most wanted DC Multiverse figures. So that's going to be the next live stream on the channel. It'll be episode two. Uh, we previously ranked all the builder figures for DC Multiverse. Uh, that was pretty That was pretty cool. Totally our opinions on that stuff. Yours may differ, but go check out that video. It's one or two videos back on the channel. Uh, so yeah, just some cool content coming out. Kind of some different stuff. Just mixing it up, doing some different things on the channel. So yeah, enjoy your guys' feedback. Drop that down in the comment below, or drop that down in the comment section below. Um, what we're going to do real quick is run through a toy haul. So our friends over at Big Bad Toy Store sent out a really cool box of toys for us to go over. I'm going to actually be doing some action figure reviews on a couple of these toys. So that's going to be cool. I love doing reviews. If you look back historically on my channel, I did a lot of reviews back in the day. Just hadn't had a lot of time to do them. They're a little more time consuming believe it or not, even then like going out and doing a quick toy hunt. So uh, a little more editing involved, you know, a little more setup involved, that type of thing. But, but I really enjoy doing the action figure review. So you're going to get to see some of the action figures that BBTS sent over. There's a link down in the description of this video. If you click that link, you'll be able to get any of these action figures there at Big Bad Toy Store. And it kind of helps the channel some too, when you use the link in the description. So if you want a way to support the channel outside of just viewing, uh, the videos, you can always use my links. That does help out. So as you guys know, the standard BBTS box, we all know this box uh, because it's such an exciting thing when you come home from work and you have a BBTS box sitting uh, and waiting at your front door. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the Spawn 30 Years. Uh, it's kind of like they're, you know, they do these statues. Todd, especially back in the early, early mid 2000s, he was doing a ton of these. And this is the one that's kind of a homage to Black Panther. And BBTS sent it over. I'm really, I actually want to do a quick review of this guy. And I want to compare his, compare his size to like the other Spawn figures back here. I've got two shelves of Spawn figures. And I want to compare just how he stacks up. Can he fit right in with your normal seven inch Spawn figures? I think he can, but we'll look at that as part of the review, but just a really cool figure. The, the, pla the packaging of this thing is fantastic the presentation i almost hate to even pull this thing off card uh because it's that old style clamshell where it's just clear plastic all over with just the backing inside the plastic uh, which you know todd does such a good job with but yeah just a great looking figure or i guess we should say statue now here's a figure i'm super excited about as well probably would do a quick review of this guy also um, this is the mega man from jada toys I was a massive Mega Man fan growing up. Got to get that guy. Um, and the fact that Jada Toys is doing these, there's been a, co a couple like uh, other companies that have done some Mega Man figures, uh, but I think Jada is going to go a lot deeper than anything we've really had before. But this figure just looks fantastic. He looks like he's going to fit right in with any six inch scale line you have, or probably even seven inch as well. Uh, but we'll take a quick look at this guy on the channel as well. And a figure line everyone's raving about. The Street Fighter from Jada Toys also. We got the Ken here looking really, really good. Um, now, I do the Storm Collectible Street Fighter stuff, so I'm a little torn as to whether I'm going to go with Jada Toys or whether I'm going to go with the Street Fighter and continue that going. Uh, Jada seems to be going very deep uh, into this line as we've already got like Dalsums come out. They're doing a great job so far. Uh, we'll take a look at this guy, do a quick review as well. Yeah, Ken looking really good. Now, this is one of my most anticipated figures of 2024. This is the Haya Toys Rambo 1 12th scale figure. So I'm hoping this is going to fit right in with like my Mezco stuff because they're doing some other 1 12th scale figures as well. It's got the soft goods, everything. So this is Rambo First Blood for the first movie. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm a huge Sylvester Stallone fan, a huge Rambo fan. So when I saw that this was going to come out in the 112 scale, it was a must have for me. BBTS, kind enough to go ahead and just send it over for me uh, for us to take a look at. We will do a full review of this guy and, uh, you know, we'll see what we got. I, I'm really excited. Let me know if you've already picked this guy up or if you have some history with this figure already. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. But yeah, this is uh, probably the figure I'm most excited about in the haul today. And then a figure set that's been out for a little while, but you know, and I know it's a little bit controversial at first cause people are like, well, why is there two mojos releasing at the same time? I was actually one of the very first guys to find the uh, uh, kind of retail store release of Mojo. He's actually sitting right up there. Um, so people couldn't figure it out. This one's got a little different color deco. Uh, the Long Shot and the Dazzler also provided in. Man, what a cool looking box set this is. You can get this at BBTS, as I've already said. It is uh, in stock as we speak. So yeah, and I think it's actually, it might even be on sale. So yeah, check, check BBTS for this one. But if, if you're needing these three figures, I, I really want to take a look at this Mojo in comparison to the other up there. I know this one's got like liver spots or whatever on them. So, but man, another one here that I'm like, I hate to take this out of the box. It looks so cool uh, with, you know, kind of the TV set look. And even this stuff is even embossed on it. So it's, man, they put a lot of effort into the, you know, into the presentation of this box. So yeah, it's very 90s there on the back. Pretty cool. All right. So that is our B B BBTS haul. Again, link down in the description. If you want to help out the channel, click that link, make your purchases. And you can do that anytime, not just during this video, but anytime all of my videos have my BBTS link uh, there in the description. So I want to look at a couple other things that have come in, uh, either from, you know, just picking them up at a store or whatever. So I want to show you guys those. A couple figures that I have been trying to get my hands on for a while. Uh, the Spiral, and obviously this actually goes with the Mojo World set uh, that I just picked up. So we got Spiral, we got Corsair, and Star Jammers. So I, the Chod figure, I got to finish it out. Uh, one of our supporters here on the channel was actually kind enough to send me a handful of the Build-A-Figure pieces for Chod. Uh, this was actually one I think that was already in there. So I think I've got to get a head and maybe a torso, I think is what I'm missing. So yeah, I got to pick those up, find those loose somewhere because I don't necessarily need the figures uh, that those pieces came with. But yeah, a couple cool little pickups. And this was a pickup here actually at a local toy shop. Um, now these are on pre-order at BBTS. They have not shipped theirs yet. I actually had this pre-order through Big Bad Toy Store and happened to find it in the wild and said, I, I'm going to go ahead and get it. I want to get my hands on this two pack. I'm super excited about this saber tooth. Very, very excited. Um, I think it may be the best saber tooth that Hasbro has provided us yet. Maybe any company in the six, seven inch scale. So really excited to get him out of this package and take a look. And then something I don't think I've shown on the channel yet. I, I'm pretty sure I posted it on my Instagram. So if, if you don't follow me here, go check out my Instagram page. But this is old Toy Biz Superheroes, Marvel's Greatest Superheroes 8-Pack. And uh, yeah, I posted some pictures on Instagram, I'm pretty sure. So if you want to see some more close-up pictures, you can check that out. But yeah, just a, man, just a who's who awesome package here uh you know eight pack for some of the old toy biz i'm a massive fan of the old toy biz this is probably my first love when it comes to my childhood and collecting action figures the x-men figures were it tmnt the x-men toy biz that was really the two lines that every time we went to walmart or to a big, big box retail store made my parents made my grandparents whoever i was with at the time made them purchase me one of those two things so me and my brother had boxes of Toy Biz X-Men, boxes of TMNT, but the Toy Biz X-Men would just always hold a really special place in my heart. Really cool back on this. This will be staying in the package. I will not be removing this. So that is uh, the haul. Let me know what you thought of that. I thought some really, really cool stuff in there. What we're going to do now, we're going to jump into a quick toy hunt. Went out to Target a few days ago just to see what was on the shelves. I filmed that. So I'm going to drop that in here for you guys. Check it out. Drop those comments down below if you enjoyed the content. Obviously, hit the like button if you're not a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button. Got some cool videos probably coming up. Some of my buddies coming down from up in New York, uh, Century TMC, the Jersey Geek. So we'll be probably doing some collab videos over the next couple weeks when they come down, hitting up some cool toy shops in the area. 
So yeah, stay tuned for that. And then obviously, like we said, the live stream coming up either this Thursday or the next. So yeah, just keep an eye on the community page of the channel and you'll know when that is. But yeah, enjoy the toy hunt. Again, look forward to hearing to you guys in the comments. All right, guys, we are in Target and we are checking out what they got. The Marvel Legends Iron Spider there. And we got some, got some Wolverine 97s here, which we've seen plenty of times. Some kind of Avengers 5 pack down there. Got the 97s. Got a junkyard there. Got some new Ghostbusters role play stuff. Ooh, this is a cool one. I really like this. That Zara. And Bizarro. That's a really cool. Got some new Duke. Looking good there. Got the new uh, The Rival. Gold label there. A couple of those. The new Superman. It's a good looking Superman there. It's the Hush version. A couple of Batman. on down, got Necron, got a handful of those. Got some neck over here. It's kind of a weird play, and it's even, so it's not even in like the wrong place. It is literally in the place it's supposed to be. That's kind of weird. I don't normally see uh, the neck of stuff. Got some Star Wars end cap down here. Got the T-Rex, the real feel stuff. Ooh, there's a new 93 classic Dennis Nedry. I like that. That's really cool, 24 bucks, but he's on his bike. That's cool. Dinos down there from the Legacy Collection. Ray Filet. Got the stickers on the side. I love the, uh, these are awesome. These are so cool right here. Got Bebop and Rockstone there. And a couple Donnies. Coming on down, we got some. Star Wars Squadron, some more Princess Leia, Organa, Tuscan Raider, Cat Bane, Pike Soldier, Got the Mandalorian down here, some AEW, and we got some uh, Captain Lou. I know. Well, I don't know this guy. As much wrestling as I watch, Sultan. Those look really good. These Legends figures look fantastic. Oh, there's Muhammad Ali. The Muhammad Ali Legends figure. That's cool. That's a that's a potential. I'm a big Muhammad Ali fan. And coming on down, we do have the Stranger Things, Demi Gorgon, and Skeletor two packs here. Those are cool. Got a little stack of those in there. All right, we're over here in the neck section. A little Halloween, some Elvira. Got some Gremlins. Got some Batman back cuff replicas here. Pretty cool. Got some Assassin's Creed revelations there. The uh, Colossus of the Swamps got Batman. These are all, looks like these are all from the first wave, I think. Yeah, Scarecrow, all the kind of the King wave. I just can't get over that black tar color on the side. Just makes no sense why they did that. 
I just make them normal. Check this out, guys. This is a. Uh, I was actually kind of done filming and came across Earl. So that was uh That's really cool. That's my first time seeing him. So yeah, very cool. I loved that show when I was a kid. Yeah, very nice. Sad ending. <laughs>